welcome, welcome everybody to another great episode of Real Life Matters. Of course, I am your host, D Boss. I hope you guys are watching me Monday to Friday weeknights at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Care Vision. And we're in 28 different countries, including London, UK, through the various uh, cable networks in the United States. And if you're here in Canada, you can watch on Bell 5 TV, uh, channel 658. And in case you missed all that, you could also uh, go to my YouTube channel and you could see yourself and see all the wonderful other guests that I've interviewed at DBoss Networks. You could subscribe, share, and you could do all that wonderful things. Hit the bell icon so every time I post something, you can go watch. But I hope everybody's doing their 15 minutes of laughing every day because that's going to release a lot of stress, a lot of endomorphins in your body. It's going to make you feel better. It's going to tone those abs. I'm not saying you can't don't stop going to the gym. But, you know, you could still get that. It releases a lot of stress. Now, a lot of people might say, I don't have anybody to laugh with. Well, you can call somebody on the phone that, you know, make you laugh. You can you can also watch something funny that, you know, that you laugh. Or, you know, if it is extreme and you say, oh, you know what, D-Boss, I really don't have anybody that I can laugh with. Yes, they have laughing classes that you can sign up for. So I encourage everybody over the last few months, I've been telling everybody to do that. And that's such a wonderful thing for everybody to do because it makes you feel better. Also, if you want to keep looking youthful like me, <laughs> then you can, you can go ahead. But we're right now we're going to hear right from our Vital Steps to Vital Health, Joanne James from one of our sponsors. And we'll be right back with our special guests. Welcome to Your Vital Steps to Better Health and Fitness. I'm Joanne James. Today we're going to talk about the effects of no exercise on the muscles. Many people are spending a lot of time sitting at their desk and not exercising, as well as the internet has taken people out of the exercise realm and into sitting down and playing games on their phones. There's a major detriment to not exercising. When you don't exercise, your muscles become weak and that impacts your bones. So now you have both weak muscles and weak bones. The other problem is you lose strength and the daily activities that you like to do become more difficult. So it's important to be doing some form of exercise to keep the muscles toned. And thirdly, your body composition will change. You will end up getting more body fat and less muscle mass, which then tends to be unattractive and you lose energy and you become more fatigued. So do yourself a favor, get into a great exercise routine, find somebody who can put you on a great program. Your body's going to love it. I'm Joanne James, and this has been your vital steps to better health and fitness. Take care. Thank you, Joanne James, for that. You know, there's a lot of things happening with all these computers, and she's absolutely right. People don't get up and want to exercise. But since her telling everybody about that, and she advised me, I'm exercising in over six months, and I feel absolutely great. So I encourage people to get up and start exercising, but you got to just move into it slowly. And you got to make an appointment with yourself. That's what she told me to do. And since then, I've never stopped. All right. But we got here, I guess, and they're finally, finally, they came on Real Life Matters at DeVos Networks here. We got the uh, the founder and the president and CEO of Afro Global Television. Wow. And they're going to be doing um, Excellence Awards. And they're, he's going to he's going to tell us about why he started, why you want to do this, why he's continuing this success in doing this. So with no further ado, I introduce to you Moses Maiwa. Hey, DeBoss, how are you doing? I'm very good, very good. Oh my gosh, I had to tell people that I'm so glad that you're here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. It's truly an honor to be here and uh, you've been doing an excellent job really sharing um, some amazing information about really what matters in life. And uh, that is actually very much appreciated. So it, it's an honor actually to be here with you today. Well, I see. Well, I see you're smiling. So you're taking a bit of the, <laughs> the tip because, yeah. you know, do, <laughs> yeah, you know doing media, media, you, we, we gotta, we have to smile and laugh it off or else you'll go insane. So, 
<laughs> yeah. Yes, it's all good. Mm. All right. So here at Real Life Matters, we like to know everybody what's their cultural background, where they come from. So in case other people out there want to connect with you. Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, I am actually uh, based, of course, in uh, Toronto, Canada. And uh, originally, um, my uh, dad actually uh, from Uganda, that's East Africa. And uh, my mother actually, interestingly, from uh, South Sudan. And, um, and you know, of course, you know, Patricia from our organization as well. Uh, my beloved Patricia, she's actually from Nigeria. Uh, but I have uh, friends and associates and team members within our organization pretty much from everywhere. Uh, throughout the Caribbean and uh, other parts of the world as well. Wow. Well, you got a good mix there. Thank you. Thank <laughs> I you thought so. you were from, I really thought you were from Nigeria, but when you said Uganda, wow. Yeah, I'm actually from East Africa. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And Sudan. So Correct. Yeah, Uganda and, and, and South Sudan, yes. All right. So, Moses, what made you want to start African a uh, global television? What made you say, you know what? I'm just going to get up and do this. You know, it all started way back while I was a student at uh, Carleton University doing a degree in film studies, you know, and um, I was looking at television and um, even listening to the radio and looking at print media. There wasn't much that was actually uh, projecting uh, black people or people of African descent in a good, positive and constructive way. Most of the time, if it's about, you know, urban communities, it's just really um, school dropouts and guns and violence and things like that. And then if it is uh, anything about the Caribbean, it's just hurricanes and all manners of uh, really, you know, uh, challenging things. If it is anything about Africa, it's just really about, you know, uh, poverty and uh, struggling and all of that. And yet we have uh, some really, really amazing success stories to be told from all of our communities uh, here in North America, but then also in the, uh, in the continent of Africa as well as the Caribbean. Uh, so that's really one of the reasons why, you know, I got into the media. And, um, you know, so our parent company is actually Silver Trust uh, Communications or Silver Trust Media. That's okay. the one that actually runs the Afro Global television channel. So Afro Global right now is a 24 hour TV network. It's on Rogers Cable. It's on Bell. It's on Telus. It's on Eastlink. It's on various other platforms as well, right across Canada. And then we also have uh, some really profound digital platforms as well. Uh, we're on all of the social media platforms, you know, um, uh, with the Afro Global, you know, brand. And um, and in addition to that, we also have uh, print publications. We run, uh, we publish Excellence Magazine. Okay. We do Destiny, which is more of a Christian publication. And uh, Excellence is focused on people of African descent or Black people. And then we also have a more mainstream publication, you know, as well called Envision, Envision Canada. Um, it used to actually be called uh, Diversity Magazine, um, you know, when we actually had it in the blue boxes across the GTA, um, you know, the same one that actually has Toronto Star publications, you know, so we had it there for a number of years, um, you know, and then we actually shifted distributor, distribution platforms. Um, so overall, it has been such an, a wonderful journey and, um, you know, and the main thing we, we, we decided to do in regards to the Excellence Awards program presented by Afro Global Television is because we really wanted to make sure that we're able to identify role models or people who have done well so that they can serve as, um, you know, role models uh, or mentors for young people in our crossover youth mentorship program. Uh, so there is actually, you know, a social innovation aspect, you know, to what we are doing. And, um, you know, and it has played out actually quite uh, beautiful. All right. So the people, when they get to the, the channel, when you're on belt, do you have to pay for the extra on that on your cable box? Or is it just uh, they can just select it or it has to come apart as a package? Right. Um, at, at this moment, depending on actually where you are and how mm -hmm. the cable companies are actually set up, like, for okay. example, in Atlantic Canada, you know, the Maritimes, 
uh, we are actually in a cable package together with uh, BET, uh, MTV, and the Country Music Channel uh, as a package. So when you get that package, uh, Afro Global is actually included, right? And then, um, you know, in other parts of the country, you know, like uh, Ontario, Quebec, and, and some of the other places, you would actually need to, um, you know, to subscribe. And if you subscribe independently, it's just, you know, $5, you know, approximately $5. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. not bad. People, you yeah. can afford $5 now. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. 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 I mean, like it's, it's $20 dollars or something. You know? Yeah. <laughs> And that's actually probably less than a good hamburger, you know, these days. So yeah, like, you, you can't even get a ham. I don't even get. Well, what can you get with that mm, today? Mm, not much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Mm. So, how do you for this award show for the um, excellence awards? How did you guys um, select the candidates that you guys are are um, giving awards to? So basically, we actually do have information on the uh, on our website, you know, afroglobaltelevision.com. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, uh, people are actually normally nominated, you know. So if there's anyone that is, uh, in, um, you know, uh, worth uh, recognizing based on their accomplishments and so on, it's possible to send out an email and, um, you know, with uh, information about why this, this person is actually deserving. And then there's a form that gets filled out. And um, then at a certain point, um, the panel, you know, uh, would sit and go through the, nom uh, the nominations and then decide actually who actually needs to be recognized. Uh, the amazing thing is that uh, this particular initiative actually has, um, you know, 16 different categories, you know, from leadership, uh, enterprise, exactly. So we honor 16 individuals uh in different categories you know and um we try to make sure that they're actually from all over the world and okay. um, you know i look forward to actually sharing with you this year's um you know recipients you know with uh, tremendous excitement actually you know um because they are actually some of the uh, most amazing individuals that we've seen you know but you know uh, it's always like that every single year you know, uh, we showcase incredible success stories. Um, and, uh, and and this is one of the best things about uh, this project because you receive all these amazing nominations, um, you know, throughout Canada and throughout the world as well, um, you know, which is actually quite amazing. So that must be a tough, a tough panel because you must get hundreds of applications. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I don't know. I'm, get, saying, I'm just saying 100 to be minimum, but it probably yeah. Is. <laughs> yeah. In fact, because it takes about 365 days a year, right, Ooh. before it reach another time. So almost every day, you know, every week, you know, we actually get nominations. So it's really tough, and wow. um, yeah, and that's one of the reasons why, in fact, we uh, subsequently, in fact, it was last year when we decided to launch a new program. Uh, it's called the Most Influential Black Canadians, you know, program. And with that one, we actually recognize 100 of the most influential blacks in Canada. Uh, that, that one is actually national, you know. Okay. But then this other, you know, the Excellence Awards is actually international. Um, and uh, it, it's amazing. And it really gladdens uh, my heart, you know, to see that uh, so many of our people are doing so well. And the categories that we have include, you know, science and technology, leadership, wow. enterprise, you know, um, and uh, uh, heritage. There's entertainment. There's media. There's all kinds, you know, of uh, of categories that are actually, you know, um, you know, pertinent. And um, and and this has been really amazing. From the Caribbean, you know, for instance, you know, we've had amazing recipients over the years. Wow. Uh, there was a time when we actually recognized, you know, Rita Mali, you know, um, uh, who actually came to Toronto together with her daughter and the granddaughter as well, who were actually yes. in Toronto. We also had, you know, Portia Simpson Miller, you know, from uh, Prime Minister of Jamaica. And um, uh, this year, we are actually really delighted, you know, to be able to recognize, you know, um, uh, one truly amazing individual, you know, who has done so many different things, you know, uh, throughout the Caribbean. Uh, that's, you know, Faye uh, Ellington. And okay. 
um, she uh, was um, uh, actually a BBC trained, you know, communications expert and um, best known actually for hosting the show, you know, Morning Time on uh, JBC uh, in Jamaica. And, um, you know, and uh, uh, yeah, so we've had people from uh, so many of the different islands. And uh, uh, of course, this year with uh, tremendous gratitude, we are recognizing, you know, Mark Beckles, who is uh, the Vice President of Social Impact and Innovation for Royal Bank of Canada. And uh, he's actually from Barbados, you know. Uh, That's where well. my family's from. Yay! Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's actually truly beautiful. <laughs> Well, that's, you know, so do you guys, when you're making these nominations, I know you're probably like, oh gosh, I hope she doesn't ask me this, but mm -hmm. when you, do you guys, the panel, does it ever come to a deadlock at somebody and you guys are like, oh, so what do you got to do? Throw in, <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. Throw yeah, in it's it's almost thing. like throw in a dice or something to determine <laughs> you know, who should be. Uh, it's, it's honestly, you know, divorce, it's, it's incredible, um, you know, how this actually happens. And, uh, the amazing thing about what we do is that, uh, when you take a look at the list of our recipients every year, uh, you see that there's uh, a good number of men and a good number of women included. So it's equal. Not necessarily, you know, 50-50, really? you know, but yeah, there's, there's a, a good reasonable number on both sides. That's actually recognized, right? And then when you also take a look at it, uh, we endeavor to make sure that uh, amongst the recipients, uh, we also have, you know, a reflection of the diversity of our community, you know. So you actually see, you know, continental African, you know, members of the community, you see the Caribbean, uh, component of the community and also we have members of the black community that's um you know uh that's uh, uh kind of uh indig literally indigenous to this place you know who have been here for generations uh, as well in, in in north america and um so that is actually really um you know amazing uh the only award that we have that tends to go to someone outside of the black community uh, among the 16 award recipients is actually the Nelson Mandela Humanitarian Award. Okay. So the Nelson Mandela Award recognizing, uh, recognizes someone who is not necessarily black, but okay. he is doing um, some amazing things, you know, that impacts positively our community. You know, so every year we actually do have that. And um, we've actually had all kinds of people, Caucasian and all that. Wow. Yeah, and this year for the first time we're actually having someone from the the South Asian or the Indian community uh, wow. receiving the Nelson Mandela Award, and that is wow. actually you know uh, Sujit Barbara. Um, he's uh, an incredible entrepreneur, actually businessman, you know, who has done so many things, and he's one of the main supporters of our youth uh, mentorship program, and um, has also supported initiatives. Um, you know, even in Africa and other parts of the world as well. So uh, it's actually quite, uh, quite incredible. Well, you got to get one of this guys. He's out in the um, in Nova Scotia areas. Ryan Messiah. He's doing all kinds of stuff. Ah. So say, yeah, he does energy and uh, wow. all that. He's all green stuff, and he helps a lot in the community. He's very busy. So yeah. I mean, maybe got to submit him. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, he's from uh, and he's from Barbados, but he lives in uh, Nova Scotia. Wow, that that is absolutely wonderful. So I will consider that a nomination from you. You know, yes, yes, so you just yes. Put up with additional information, and we can consider him actually in the future for mm -hmm. sure. Mm. And then there's another girl too that's out there, but she's from Nova Scotia. Tia Upshaw, she's doing a lot, a lot, wow. a lot, a lot. This is you important. know, you know, and, and you know what I know because I interviewed them and they're they're involved and you're just seeing them evolve so much. And, you mm. know, and I guess to see, you know, for them to see, oh, my gosh, they have Afro Global, you know, and geez, OK, here we yeah. are. You know, mm. but, a lot, but a lot of us people um, the, who, who are cultures from the Caribbean are a lot of us are realizing that we have Indian indigenous yeah. Indian. Some people have Mohawk. I have um, Iowa Indian in me also so you know a lot of people didn't know that because back then your family members really didn't tell you nothing <laughs> so you're kind of like <laughs> what <laughs> okay 
oh, all right, then is that this where we get this from? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so a lot of us are realizing our, our roots and our heritage are coming from there, you know, and, and mm. also, so now we're kind of like reevaluating ourselves like, oh, okay, well, that's why, okay, <laughs> that's why somebody looks this way and that's why someone looks this way. <laughs> yeah, that that's understandable. And, it, you know, the boss, it's, uh, it's amazing how, you know, our heritage is kind of um, really mixed with to a great uh, extent and right. um and in all of that uh we are still able to especially you know identify our common um you know roots you know african ancestry you know um or our black identity for that matter and um it is also the kind of spirit that um is actually evident in our music in our uh, expressions and all manners of things and so on so and um, that's what we actually do through um, the various initiatives that we have. And um, if I may say, actually, you see the brand Afro Global, um, Afro Global Television, which is basically the channel, um, you know, is connected to a number of other entities as well, including the Excellence Awards, which is presented by, by you know, the Afro Global, you know, brand. Uh, but basically, Afro global means uh, if you are Afro Brazilian, Afro Jamaican, Afro Barbadian, mm -hmm. Afro American, Afro Canadian, you know, Afro Cuban, you are part of the Afro global. Wow. That's where the Afro global gates are open, people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it, it is such a beautiful thing. And, um, and, uh, um, yeah, and if I may actually share a little bit more about each one of the other award recipients. Yes, you, know, you can. Yeah. So like I said, we have, um, you know, the Martin Luther King Legacy Award going to Mark Beckles, you know, um, uh, who is the Vice President of Social Innovation and um, uh, an Impact, you know, for Royal Bank. And we have the Leadership Award going to Janelle Skerritt. Uh, who is actually the CEO of uh, Children's Aid Society. And, you know, uh, so many of our young people and kids in particular end up in foster care and, you know, in, uh, you know, in that system. And to have actually one of our own as a leader, um, you know, at that level, a CEO is actually absolutely wonderful. You know, so that if there are any conversations uh, going on uh, amongst either Federation of uh, Children's Aid Societies or any other sort of entities, we actually have a voice at the highest level. The Global wow. Impact Award, um, the Global Impact Award, which um, I think a couple of years back during COVID actually went to Usain Bolt, you know, from Jamaica. Woo! This year, actually going to uh, Rahel Asefa who is the vice president of marketing for Ethiopian Airlines. Uh, Rahel Atefa is actually the highest ranking woman, um, you know, in the, uh, you know, the, the, the ranking, actually the, the, um, the executive team of Ethiopian Airlines, which is actually currently the largest, you know, um, most significant airline actually operating, you know, worldwide, but originating actually from the continent of Africa. And uh, like I said earlier, the Nelson Mandela Humanitarian Award is going to Sudit Barbara, uh, mm -hmm. who is a person in the aviation sort of field. And um, uh, at the last count, this guy actually owned about 18 aircrafts, you know, and eventually that expanded to 22 planes that are actually used for wow. cargo and and everything. And uh, so he's such an inspiration for someone who came to Canada as an immigrant um, you know, uh, it's actually quite amazing and especially for also his giving and support to things within our community. Uh, the Enterprise Award is going to uh, Toyin Crandell and okay. uh, she is actually the founder of uh, Money Mindset Shift and also the host of uh, Millionaire Money uh, podcast, you know, oh. uh, which, which, which is actually quite uh, amazing um yeah so uh and uh i'm really really excited about you know uh this other gentleman who is receiving the renaissance award uh he's called louis edgar uh jean francois uh he's actually of course you know based in quebec based on the name you might actually guess that uh an incredible gentleman you know a chartered accountant certified public accountant wow. 
Iran's actually this organization called the Group 3737. Um, you know, and it's one of the largest organizations actually serving, you know, uh, uh, Black Canadians, uh, you know, based in Quebec, um, in French. And um, yeah, so it's really amazing. And um, we also have actually the media award, you know, going to Clement Vargo, uh, mm -hmm. uh, one of Canada's foremost, you know, directors. And um, I'm really excited about this because uh, he has achieved a lot. You know, he has done productions such as, uh, especially directing and producing and writing, but he has been involved with projects such as uh, Empire, you know, The Wire on HBO, uh, The Madness on uh, Netflix. Uh, he also did Greenleaf, you know, directed Greenleaf and Service Executive Produced alongside Oprah Winfrey. And, you know, uh, some people might not know this, but of course he's Canadian, right, from here in, in Toronto. Wow. Yeah. So uh, these are some of the recipients, and uh, I'll be glad to share a little bit more about uh, additional ones uh, in just a moment. Oh, all yeah. right. Well, yeah. okay. Well, you can um, tell us about this other one for the Professional Achievement Award. Okay. So for the Professional Achievement Award, we actually have uh, Faye Ellington. Uh, that's the person that I spoke to you about earlier. Okay. Um, you know yeah so she has done a lot and uh, even currently uh, she's actually doing various initiatives um you know with educational institutions and um she's also the chair of the national integrity uh, action you know and um and a number of other entities uh, as well and um you know this might actually interest you you know divorce uh we have another woman a lady actually uh, Tamara, um, you know, uh, Silis, and uh, she's actually the president of uh, C Ford Pharmaceuticals. She's wow. getting the Science and Technology Award, and uh, this lady is absolutely incredible, my dear. You know, um, some of the things that she has been involved with uh, doing include, you know, th therapeutics, all kinds of medicines that have been actually either developed or distributed by them and um and they also work with various partners you know around you know the the world um i'm also pleased to let you know that uh, the marcus gavi memorial award is actually going to joseph Bordon macaulay uh Whoa. he worked for a number of years actually with rbc and uh, this is a very special award because uh it's named after the honorable marcus mosiah gavi you know um who um uh, you know as many uh would know uh in the 1920s and 30s and into the 40s actually you know his work uh expanded and made such a significant difference in terms of the destinies of people of african descent and wow. um yeah so uh this gentleman Bodu macaulay in fact um uh, was involved extensively with uh, sickle cell anemia and addressing that uh, through the camp jim uh program and and then eventually they uh he participated in the launch of a national initiative to address sickle cell anemia uh, which really disproportionately affects you know um our own uh, members of our community particularly children uh, so it is actually really quite um, incredible that we are able to get uh, some of these things going. And then the Community Development Award goes to Kemi Jacobs, Executive Director of Delta Family Resource Center. Uh, right. An amazing stalwart, you know, um, uh, change agent and leader within the Black community in Toronto. Uh, the Visionary Award goes to Ivan Downs. You know, he's a business representative for the International Union of Painters and um, Allied Trades. Uh, we need to encourage many of our young people to get into the trades, particular co uh, construction trades, you know, whether it is uh, painting and carpentry, masonry and so on. So uh, this year's gala is an opportunity actually to showcase um, accomplishments in, in this area. Um, you know, the Rising Star Award goes to Michelle Tommy Akami. Um, okay. Nice. is actually a major rising star actually and that's the award she's uh, she's receiving and um you know um has done so much um and uh, uh afro global television and silver trust media are actually producing a drama series um you know known as the omo bella palace uh okay. drama yeah so um you know uh tommy is actually the leading star 
uh, in the Omobella series, you know. Oh. And, yeah, and then we have the Heritage Award going to Ronnie Mayanza, uh, who is actually the founder of the Uganda Diaspora Network, and uh, he has done so much to celebrate you know the diaspora of uganda but then so much else you know throughout uh the world uh notably in the us and here in canada and then i have uh two more um you know the next one is actually tj uh who receives the entertainment award uh okay. Isior jaboro he's actually the founder and executive director at the toronto international nollywood uh, film festival uh so he's one of the main persons really advancing you know uh uh, African cinema, notably Nigerian, you know, films uh, in Canada. But then he does a lot of other things as well, you know, uh, including the, uh, you know, pulling together of as many people as possible from our diverse, you know, uh, communities uh, to participate, you know, uh, uh, through guilds, through, uh, you know, festivals, through events like that, you know, uh, as well. And the last one we have is the Lifetime Achievement Award. And... Uh, uh, and you saw they say save the best for the last, right? Um, yes. I mean, everyone that I've mentioned so far is extremely well deserving, you know. But this gentleman, I mean, has done so much. That is uh, Dr. Winston Laros, uh, who basically, you know, um, uh, was uh, involved for many years as executive director of the Jane Finch Concerned Citizens Organization. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, served as executive director for uh, I think over 20 years. Uh, he has done so much in terms of Afrocentric education and uh, you know addressing issues of police brutality and the importance of unity. And he's as humble as they come. You know, uh, a truly incredible gentleman. Um, uh, a younger uh, him would have been actually uncle. You know, uh, but I think he's really grandpa to all of us. Uh, so um, he actually received, um, you know, a doctorate, honorary degree, actually from the University of Toronto, in part because of his work. And there was actually a CBC documentary, you know, uh, Mr. Jen and Finch, uh, which captures his uh, remarkable, you know, uh, story. Just so incredible! This is oh my gosh, he it. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're getting ready for for so what date is this is the excellence awards so if everybody can go yeah the excellence awards gala is actually coming up on saturday october 21st you know okay. and um it's going to be at the meridian arts um you know center uh this is the former toronto center for the arts and um you know uh 5040 young street in north york uh okay. it's a beautiful venue uh this is a glitzy red carpet affair honestly and uh -huh. come out you know and uh celebrate excellence like no other um you know and uh, the production is also going to be broadcast obviously on uh, the Apple global television channel and, well, what, uh, what do you think uh, <laughs> uh, it won't be on the same day but at a, at a later time and it's also okay. going to be on omni television you know so right. um, yeah as you may be aware we actually produce um one of the uh, flagship programs you know on omni television that's the planet africa show uh hosted by our executive vice president patricia baby on uh you know uh there as well so through the relationship with uh, rogers communications and omni television in particular we are actually able to have, uh, you know, uh, programming of the awards gala on that on that platform too. Um, yeah, so it's uh, it's truly lovely, and um, you know, we are we are very excited about it. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, I know you're getting ready for the next year. You probably got that in process. <laughs> yeah, the, the process is actually ongoing. You know, usually sometimes before the next one is done you know the subsequent one is already in consideration you know and uh you know um uh like we discussed just a moment ago you know uh this year's gala is not yet done and you're already actually making recommendations you know nominations <laughs> for people so, yeah, you know we got are a, actually, we, got a few, you know, we got a few for you there they're uh -huh. so busy that they can barely even come come to get you but you'll we'll get them yeah but uh <laughs> So are there any shout outs that you want to give uh, Moses? 
Well, I um, particularly want to uh, thank the community for stepping out every single year to celebrate Black Excellence. You know, and um, uh, every single year we actually rise to the occasion of presenting uh, the best that we can and literally outdoing ourselves, you know, and that has been the case uh, for this particular awards program. Even during the, um, the COVID era, we were still actually able to activate it. And it is actually truly, you know, uh, wonderful. So for all of our fans, all of our loved ones, all of our people throughout the Caribbean, uh, throughout, you know, Canada and indeed around the world, I just want to say, you know, uh, let us continue to uh, celebrate, um, you know, excellence within our immediate communities and then, of course, internationally and, um, you know, connect with us. We are on Facebook. We are on Twitter, we are on LinkedIn, we are on all of the social media platforms, you know, including Instagram. Uh, so let's connect. You know, I want to uh, appreciate you all uh, for uh, the various things that you are doing. And uh, please keep the nominations coming, you know, yeah, from you know, the world. And, you and know. comment and, on what the thing is, people. I always tell everybody likes and comments because I get you in the ratings. Uh huh. Well said. Well said, boss. I, <laughs> I, uh, I sincerely appreciate you know you uh, so very much. And uh, for all of our team members, you know, involved with Afro Global Television, um, you know, Silver Trust Media, the Transformation Institute, and some of the other entities, I sincerely appreciate you. And um, you know, um, and then of course, you know, all of our partners and sponsors, you know, this particular awards project has been recognized uh, as one of the most uh, amazing, you know, celebrations of, um, you know, our success stories. Uh, in the past, our sponsors have actually included, you know, TD Bank, uh, General Motors, the Canadian Armed Forces, Dreammaker <laughs> Realty, the Toronto Institute of Pharmaceutical Technology, uh, Sterling Dental, you know, um, African Foods, you know, Fresco, Mosaic Foods, uh, Bank of Montreal, Western Union, World Remit, Omni Television and Rogers Media, uh, MoneyGram International, uh, Royal Bank of Canada, Ethiopian Airlines and so many others that have actually been uh, supportive. But, you know, we still have opportunities, you know, uh, for sponsorship as well. So if you are able to uh, step up and to also get the benefits of uh, supporting this incredible awards gala, uh, which means we'll of course get exposure on television and print media, digital media, aside from the event as well. Uh, it would be lovely. So um, yeah, get in touch and then we'll uh, ensure that you get the best that you can. All right. Well, thank you, Moses. You got to come back again and keep everybody updated. You can't be just a one-off. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all, you know, and uh, I, I just want to actually mention something here that I think would be uh, very profound. And maybe we will actually have uh, a conversation about this uh, separately as well. You know, um, one of the patrons, you know, the supporters of the Afro Global Television Channel and all of our initiatives is actually uh, Dr. Julius Garvey the son of the Honorable, um, you know, Marcos Mozayagavi, right, who is uh, based in, in New York. He's the only son of Marcos Gavi, uh, surviving son. And, um, you know, and the interesting thing is that uh, he is actually set to travel to Nigeria. Um, you know, and I will be actually traveling with him. And the amazing thing is, though, uh, that uh, he is from Jamaica and I am from Uganda, East Africa, but we are going to Nigeria, West Africa uh, to receive uh, chieftaincy titles. So um, uh, the son of Marcus Gabi will become a, an African chief, you know, if you can imagine that. Then you are truly, actually. And this is going to be on the 24th of, uh, of October of this month. And uh, wow. it's, 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 it's <laughs> after the awards gala here, we'll be actually heading to Nigeria for that. Uh, amazing. So you got to have your suitcase packed before then. Yeah. So you can see actually that, you know, um, uh, the gap between the continent and the Caribbean and the rest of the diaspora is actually getting smaller and smaller. And uh, I just wanted to share that and to give you another reason to invite me to come again. Yes, you, you got to come back on. We, you come you can come back on while you're down there. Just make sure you got internet connection strong. 
<laughs> yeah, so it's possible to connect from there, but if not, then upon returning. So either yes. way, I think it would be wonderful. All right, yeah. so I'm waiting for you to come back. Everybody, I do want everybody who has appreciate you. This is Moses Mawa, you know, African Global Television. You know, if you if you missed it, you gotta go to the YouTube channel and see it. So that you know, you know, support, 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 support. So, anyways, I do want to thank the viewers tonight for tuning in here with me and Moses' journey with Afro Global TV. So good night and bye for now. Take care.